there needs to be a balance of prayer and the word in this season a balance of prayer and the word why prayer and the word because prayer keeps you close to the heart of jesus so that you know the mind of god and word keeps you sharp so that when you have received an instruction from the lord you can convey it with accuracy and without error more damage has been done to the church because people have read the bible and then preached it you're not supposed to read the bible and preach it you're supposed to read the bible go in prayer love god and then if god wants you he'll tell you to do it but ministry has been done in the reverse because we got born again and because we know something of the word of god we feel we have to speak it and because we have grown in the word do you know the body of christ has grown in the word tremendously tremendously there is so much word that you can't even preach to anyone because he'll teach you yet it is not the word that brings life it is the spirit behind the word that carries the word that gives life the word when it is preached can do more damage when you have not spent time in prayer i'm saying it again the word that is preached can do more damage when you have not spent time in why because god is saying prayer is where i give you instructions what to do how to do and the word is what you spend time with to make sure you deliver what god has told you to do in the right way so both have to be in a in this year god i'm not going to tell you word because i've already banged word enough on you i want to focus on prayer is that interesting prayer is nothing but intimacy prayer is you must be hearing about many people who die no who preach the word many people who in the papers and all you see how people attack them i'm bringing you this word you will never die because if you are a man who prays then the instructions that come from god will send you to a location you will then bring the word and the word the instructions of god and the word of god will protect you and bring you out but if you go with the word without the instruction you'll perish that's why i'm telling you 2024 you'll be untouchable and i'm saying this so that you get a balance in your life god wants people to be a people of prayer and the word so whichever area your imbalance then bring it up whichever area if you know a lot of the word let me ask you when was the last time you were at the feet of jesus because i'm telling you the reason nobody could touch elijah the reason nobody could touch elisha the reason nobody can touch men of god is not because just the word of god it's because that man or a woman of god is intimate with god he's he has intimacy with god and when that man and woman of god begins to tap into the heart of god now god tells him don't go an angel will come and say don't go to this place there is a problem here an angel will hold you down and say don't go your flesh wants to go so don't go but because you have submitted to god in prayer you live longer you'll have more victories amen remember in this season god is looking for people 
looking for people who can spend time with him and i can guarantee you in this church if i asked you how much time you spend with jesus even you will be ashamed you will really be ashamed it's not because we are bad people it's just because the right teaching didn't come today it's coming to you amen, amen. you love god i love god but god is saying i need you to be a man and a woman of prayer tell your neighbor prayer say you need to be a man and woman of prayer you need to be because in this season you're going to go out into the world and you will hear a voice speak now you speak now and you fly out you don't speak and open a crusade there there'll be a place where god says do this and do that yesterday i was just walking on the street i took my son for a walk he wanted to have coconut water and as i was walking and we bought coconut water this vendor started talking so much is talking about how i got seven hours seven flats and you know all the corruption and he going me pitchy ran and bought his phone to show me his house see we are building my house and this and as i was looking to him he was so excited about you know his new house and i was going on telling him it's illegal no it's illegal as he was speaking i finished the water and the lord said tell him tell him about my love and i'm telling you i looked at him and i said this guy i said god just look at him he's so filled with his flat he's not going to listen to what i said i said still i'll say so i just put my hand on him and i just began to speak to him i'm telling you the fear of god came on this guy i saw it he, his eyes got stuck it would not lift up on me his eyes just went down and they started filling with water and then i realized ooh this is the price of intimacy you will not give the gospel to everyone you will give the gospel whom god sends you to there is your victory you will not just scatter seed everywhere you will go and that person will definitely change his life do you want results like that or you just want to go on preaching the word keeps you from error but the prayer gives you instructions how to deliver the word i'm telling you this is a key i pray you're listening to it i'm not even explaining about it i'm just giving you the key if you are stuck in your life till today ministers of god listen to me if you're listening this is the reason ministers never go ahead because god will never give you the key to his people just because you know the word never he'll never give it to you what i'm telling you until he can find a son who sits at him and loves spending time more ministering to him than to people that son god will say take the key clean up the city that son is here we are going to clean up the city do i have any sons with me is your closet going to be filled with your tears if you are shouting for jesus shout and say god my closet will never be empty my closet will be filled with prayers and supplication and thanksgiving my closet will be where i and you will speak face to face child of god you know why god sit down you know why god is giving us this key now on the first day because he's saying i need you to buck up fast you know why god is giving us this key not to put us down he's giving us these keys because he's saying you are faithful children because most of you here would have been dead or gone away from god but you still are here in the house of god jesus 
So God is giving us this key and saying the missing wing is coming to you today. Now you shall fly. Now you you will take off. Ah, oh, when I began to hear God, I was like, "Ooh, Shaya!" I said, "Lord, now you will see such mighty power in your life." because the missing wing has come back you don't have to go through problems if you are a praying man and woman you will see your problem before and you will stay away from it you will see deception before it hits you you will see bad company before it arrives you will see people who you supposed to never have conversations with and walk away Do you know people have got trapped by one phone call? People have got trapped by one message. One. But prayer in this year is going to set us apart. I hope you're excited about this. I hope you're excited. I was telling the church about my daughter. My daughter asked her asked me to drop her. I can't stop telling this story because Every time I tell the story I can see the father in heaven smile. Amira she came to the upper room and she's like drop me and I was like I got a call I can't drop you like no drop me. I said okay I'll drop you. I quickly went and I and I went down to drop her and she was like I said go from the shortcut now run. She ran little came running by and saying no. I'm going to run from long cut. I was like, "Hey, I don't do that." And she's telling me when I run, wait and watch me. I don't know what happened to her that day. I believe it was Holy Spirit only. So I said, "What?" And she knows I'm late. This is exactly how we are all in prayer. We have an agenda. From today your prayer has no agenda. I cancel your agendas. There is no agenda in prayer. There's only one agenda. I want to make my father smile. That is the only agenda. I'm telling you that's the only agenda that will bring you into greatness in 2024. And so yeah, I was just standing and she's like I'm running. So I said run. And you know my building you have to run like this and then you take a turn. But when you take a turn after that I can't see. So she ran and she took a turn and as she was running she stopped before she took the turn and you know she turned and blows kisses so i also blew kisses and i said chalo go fast because she had tuition so she ran and for some reason i didn't run i stayed also and she turned i couldn't see her but in 2 seconds she came running back and she again blew kisses and when she did that and i was on the other side i just looked at her and i said it just like sparked something in my heart And I said, "Baby, go." She did too, and she went. Now I know she is gone, but guess what happened to me now? You know what happened to me? While I said go, I was longing for her to come back and do it again. <laughs> so I was there. I didn't go. I'm waiting. And she came back again after two seconds, and she smiled. And again, she did the same thing. I was like this is really feeling good. Now I told her because I knew her mother said send her up. I said you better go up now. Go. Jesus mighty name. She said why 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 and she went but do you know after she went I was still standing there. And I was praying Lord will she do it again? Now 10 seconds passed by 15 20 and i knew she was not coming back and just as i was standing there the lord said you feel nice i said yeah he said this is what you can do for me and i realized this is exactly what you can do in prayer for god you can pray and your one eye is up and then you can say god i'm going then you come running back and say no sir I'm going to pray some more. And he's like, "Hey, 
you got to go to sleep go 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 and he's like no 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 daddy i'll pray some more i just love praying and you start praying and god is looking and saying moses has left the tent of meeting but joshua is not leaving moses left the but joshua never left it and guess what god was watching it the next one he had to anoint was not anybody he said call joshua because god was watching when moses left when the man of god leaves what are you doing he said anoint this man don't ever think joshua was anointed because he could pull a bow joshua was not anointed because he was very skillful at fighting He may have been good at fighting, but God never anoints you because you're a warrior. Go as Joab. He was one of the greatest warriors. David said, "I had nothing to do with this guy. He won more victories for David than David." God said, "I have nothing to do with why he was not like his father, a man after God's heart and a warrior." Are you understanding church? This is the key. I'm giving you the key. From today watch what happens when you go to work. You you'll become dangerous. You know why? Praying men and women of God, you can't touch them. You can't. If you touch them, your generations will bear the effects of what you did to them. Because on those men God's eyes on them. Why do you think When Joshua was going to fight, you remember he was going to and what was he doing? He was walking around and then finally one man came with a sword, right? Drawn out and he came to him and he said, "What?" He saw him he like he's a man of war. One man of war is looking at another man of war and he says, "Who are you? Are you for us or?" And do you know what that angel said? He said, "Neither, neither. I'm not on your side. I'm not on his side. You know what he said? I'm come to take over. Stand behind." He didn't understand. He told, he told whom? Joshua. Joshua is asking, "You on my side or on your his side?" He said, "Neither. As God of the army of God's angel armies, I'm not come here to take sides. I'm come to take over." Wow. So what he told Joshua, you sit behind with your sword, but your prayer has bought me. It's not your sword that will deliver. It's your prayer that bought me. Now I'm come to take over. I'll give you a strategy. March. You're waiting for your all your bosses companies. Strategies will come in your closet. angels will visit you Amen. the god of abraham isaac and jacob will elevate you Amen. that's why genesis 31 13 genesis chapter 31 verse 13 i am the god of bethel where you anointed the pillar and where you made a vow to me now arise get out of this land and return to the land of your family i am the god of bethel i am the god of bethel do you know what bethel is the house of god the presence of god god is telling jacob i am the god of bethel why did he say because god is willing to become a god of a location Listen to me. Your prayer closet can become a location. And God will become the God of that prayer closet of yours. And when you need an answer, he'll come and say, "Remember that closet. I am the God of that closet where you bowed down and poured oil and poured a seed and you prayed, I am that God will bring deliverance to your house." brothers i want to tell you 
surely the Lord has been with us and we never knew it that's why the, the house of God the sons of God the daughters of God have become slaves to this world say not anymore my prayer closet is going to raise up earthquakes and tremblings and thunderings which is going to bring my God and he'll say I am the God of that location where you broke oil where you poured out an offering before me the word of God says then he separated the Levites so that they could bear the ark on their shoulders and that they could stand and minister before him and then bless the people God is raising up men and women of God who will prophetically go through this land. I'm speaking to you. You are going through this land by the power of His Spirit to glorify His name. God is going to send you as a missionary. Those hands which have never healed are going to heal. Those legs which have never gone to locations are going to travel into new locations. Yes, my sister. The very thing you wanted, the reason God never gave it to you because he kept it for this time. Until a grain of seed has fallen and died, it cannot bear fruit. You have to die to do ministry to people, but uh, be alive to do ministry to the Lord. Then the Lord gets up and sends you because he sees that while everyone leaves the tent of meeting, there are still Joshua's who will not leave it. I see and I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, I'm come to take over your life. Will you give it to me? I'm come to take over your finances. I'm come to take over your mind. I'm come to take over the affairs of your family. I am come... Jacob, your name shall no longer be Jacob. No more a deceiving person. No more a person who's conniving, who's trying to make his way, who's trying to please man, who's trying to work for the appreciation of man, but you shall be called Israel. Your days of being Jacob are over. I ask and by the grace of God that the fear of man will be removed from you. That when you hear the voice of God, you'll open your mouth. When you hear God's voice, because I speak to you as a man coming from the heart of God and telling you that what is inside of you is greater than the presidents of this world. Greater than all the military force put together greater than all the nuclear weapons put together those that are for you are greater than those against you and Gehazi opened his eyes and he saw the chariots of Israel surround the enemy and God Elisha prayed and he said Lord open his eyes so what was Elisha doing all the time Elisha was looking in the spirit and knew that God's angel armies had already circled the city yet Gehazi could only see an army coming against them. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. God's army is greater than man's army. God has got your back covered in 2024. God has got your family covered in 2024. You are a city on a hill. You are a light to this world. Your light is going to shine no matter how dark it is. Will you only be a man and woman who's after the heart of God? Will you be a man and woman who God wakes up at 3 o'clock, you'll get up and pray. When God wakes you and gives you the name of a person, will you pray? Will you not keep, will you trim your lamps and not let the fire go? This is the year of prayer and the word uniting. Somebody say the enemy is fleeing. He's running. 